What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today I've got a story time for y'all. I know you're going to love. Uh, basically it comes from a time when I was younger and I had to hang out with my mom's friend's kid and he was just this douchey rich kid trying to boss me around a man that I do stuff for him and when I decided to say no he didn't like that and tried to fight me instead. Perfectly logical reasoning. You don't want to do the ridiculous task I asked you to do? Well, then Mortal Kombat is the only way. Either way, I figured it would be something you guys would enjoy, so uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So this story takes place when I was 8 or 9 years old, and my mom decided to tell me that she had a party at her friend's house. And she decided to tell me this because the person whose house she was going to had a kid my age, and she asked if I wanted to come and just like hang out. Apparently me and him had similar interests, and his mom thought we would get along. And from the sound of it, it sounded pretty cool. Apparently he had a pool, apparently it was gonna be a big party. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I'll go. And uh, on the way there, I'm kind of like, all right, mom, so what is this dude like? I don't even know his name. And she tells me that his name is actually Sean. He was like four months older than me, but we had all the same interests and it would be sick. And I get there and Sean walks up to me and he says, hey, are you Ryan? And I'm like, hey, are you Sean? And he says, yes. And I'm like, all right, it seems pretty okay so far. And that's when it starts sucking, right off the bat. He doesn't wait too long, he's relatively cool for like the first minute. And as we're talking, he asked me if I wanted a soda. And I was like, yeah, of course I'll take a soda. Because when you're at a party and someone offers you a soda and you're a little kid, what are you gonna do? No, no, I don't like sugar, I'm sorry. Of course I wanted a soda. So he takes me to the garage where they have the second fridge that's full of their drinks. And he's like, alright, well, I want a Dr. Pepper. So he reaches in and grabs it, and I just say, oh, I I want one too, so I start to reach for a Dr. Pepper. And as I'm reaching for the Dr. Pepper, he takes his hand and smacks my hand. Like, don't touch that. And I go, what are you doing? I want a Dr. Pepper. And he tells me that I don't get a Dr. Pepper because Dr. Pepper was for his friends and people that he liked and he didn't know me, so I had to have a Dr. Thunder instead. Which is just a knockoff Dr. Pepper. And listen, 99% of the time, I don't care. Whatever, a Dr. Pepper and a Dr. Thunder, close enough, I don't mind. But there was something about the fact that he was drinking a Dr. Pepper and told me I couldn't have one because they were only for his friends and then making me go get a warm Dr. Thunder out of a box on the ground that really rubbed me the wrong way. Like, come on, just let me grab a Dr. Pepper. Or even then, at least have Dr. Thunder in the fridge. Like, he's really making me drink a warm soda. So off rip, I don't really like the guy. But whatever, I'm stuck here now. My mom is hanging out with the mom, so I'm kind of just stuck. So we go upstairs and we start hanging out and when I walk into his room I'm a little bit impressed because the dude has every nerf gun ever invented like okay maybe not everyone ever invented but this guy basically had an arsenal if for whatever reason zombies appear that are allergic to foam this guy would have been the number one resource for the US military he's got nerf guns everywhere I like nerf guns so I'm like oh this is really cool so I walk over and I pick one up and similar to the Dr. Thunder thing, he like runs over to me, grabs it out of my hand, and is like, Don't touch my Nerf guns! And fair enough, I guess I didn't ask, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that they were like some holy item. I didn't know that Nerf guns were off limits, but he starts being like, You need to wash your hands before you play with my Nerf guns. Okay, bro, fine, I go and wash my hands, I come back, and he says, all right, we're gonna have a Nerf War. And I'm all right with that, at the time, I really liked Nerf guns, I was fine to have a Nerf War. And he says, okay, I'm gonna pick out my weapon first. And obviously, it's his house, those are fair rules to me, I'm not one to shake things up. And he goes and he picks out this thing called the Vulcan. And for those of you that don't know what a Vulcan Nerf gun is, it's effectively a chain gun. It literally is a chain gun Nerf gun with like 100 bullets. And uh, they don't work right all the time, but if they do work, then obviously they shoot a lot of nerf bullets. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna pick out what you get to use. And I immediately don't like the sound of this, because I've got a pretty good feeling he's about to just give me some little wimpy gun. And sure enough, he walks past this collection of all these cool nerf guns he has over to this, like, toy box thing. And he opens it up, and there's this little tiny nerf gun. It's tiny, and I'm like eight years old. That only holds one bullet in it. And he pulls it over to me and he says, okay, I think you can use this one. 
And listen, I'm not an expert at combat, okay? I don't think I'm some Navy SEAL, but what I can tell you is if you have a little tiny gun that only shoots one bullet, and the person you're fighting against has a chain gun with belt-fed ammunition, you probably don't stand a very good chance. And so I kind of like ask him, dude, come on, can I have anything else? Like you have a chain gun. Can I please get something else for this nerf war? And he starts to lecture me about how he doesn't trust me and I'll probably break anything that he has because he just doesn't think I'm smart enough to know how to use nerf guns. I get not knowing me, but come on, man. I'm not stupid. What am I going to do? Manage to take your nerf gun and break it over my knee? I don't have the strength for that. But whatever. I'm starting to get increasingly annoyed of hanging out with this kid because it's just not fun. But he demands that we have the nerf war, and at this point, I'm like, I guess it would be more entertaining than standing here talking to you. So we go ahead and we have the nerf war, and obviously, I lose. And after, like, one round, I tell him I'm done. I don't really want to play anymore because it just wasn't fun. The entire nerf war, it was basically just me hiding behind cover as he just proceeded to shoot endless rounds of nerf bullets at me. The way that the Vulcan work, it had this like box that held the, the belt with the ammo in it. This kid, his parents would buy him every Nerf gun that he wanted. So he had multiple boxes. So he would run out, slap another box on and just keep shooting at me. It was awful. Not very fun. So I'm like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to play anymore. And he looks at me and he goes, no, you have to play. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want to play. So I'm not going to play. Uh, I don't have to do anything. And then he's like, well, no, you have to do what I say. You're at my house. So my my rules are the way that it's going to work, so you have to do what I say, and I say that we're going to keep playing. And listen, I might have been young, but even when I was young, I knew that that's not the way it's supposed to work. Whenever someone came over to my house, my mom would always be like, remember, they're the guests, so you got to do what they want. I guess this guy had the flipped rule script. Maybe I'm weird for that. Let me know in the comment section. Am I wrong? I feel like if you're at someone's house, usually they're supposed to be nicer to the guests than like forcing the guests to do whatever they want to do. But anyways, he's trying to pressure me that I have to play. And I just keep being like, no, I don't want to play. So I'm not going to play. And he's getting angrier and angrier going off about how it's his house and I have to do it. And finally, I look at him and I'm like, I don't want to play. So I'm not going to play. And instead of accepting it, he starts stomping his foot on the ground and like doing the cry talking thing oh, you need to play and now i'm just even more confident that i don't want to play so i'm like dude i don't want to play and if you keep acting weird i'm just gonna go tell my mom and at that point i guess all bets were off which to be fair i probably shouldn't have said i was gonna go tell it's not like i was actually going to snitch i just thought maybe if i told him i was gonna go snitch that he would be a little more normal and be like fine i guess we don't have to play anyways he decides to be like there's nothing you could tell on me for my mom says i'm in charge because it's my house so go ahead and tell they wouldn't care anyways you tattletale and i'm like all right dude i won't tell on you but you do realize you're kind of being annoying like you're trying to force me to play this game that i don't want to play and i don't like that and he's like i'm not trying to force you to do anything you just need to play which uh, i don't know if he realized is the exact same thing i'm not trying to force you to do anything if you don't i'll just break your legs like oh okay yeah i've really got a choice in this matter but whatever when he says you need to play he also shoves me and listen up to this point i was fine with just playing nerf guns or like finding a way to solve this peacefully but once he shoved me i was like okay i guess we're gonna fight so i shove him back in the second that I shove him back, I shoved him a little bit harder than he shoved me because that's how the two first pushes work. And all of a sudden, he starts crying and starts being like, you hit me, you hit me. And I'm standing there confused because I didn't hit him, I just pushed him. Trust me, if I knew that either way, you were gonna start crying and saying that I hit you, I would have just punched you in the face. Like, at that point, why not? Let's be honest. If you're gonna freak out if I push you, I might as well hit you. That's a joke, YouTube, by the way. Either way, I said that, like, I didn't... I didn't hit him, I didn't hit him, and he goes, well, I'm gonna tell on you. And now the shoe's on the other foot, and I start being like, oh, you're gonna tell on me? That sucks, you're a wimp, you have nothing to tell on me for. And he realizes that I'm just saying what he said to me back to him, and he's like, that's not funny, I'm telling, you know, I don't know why my mom said we would like to hang out. And I'm like, I don't know why my mom said that we would like to hang out either, because you suck, dude, I'm not trying to hang out with you. And he's like, what did you just say about me? And I said, you suck, I don't want to hang out with you. And I guess in his house, he had one of those moms where like, suck was a swear word, my mom didn't really care. Uh, but I guess in his house, suck was basically the equivalent of saying that somebody's mother was 
goes, we'll see you next Tuesday. Because he's like, you take that back right now or I'm going to fight you. And just because this kid had cried when I shoved him, I wasn't necessarily afraid of fighting him. I don't want anyone to think that I think I'm some tough guy rolling around like I can beat up anyone. No, I, I do not think that that all. That being said, if I shove him and he starts crying and saying that I hit him and then he challenges me to a fight like my odds are solid, what is this kid going to do when I actually hit him if he cried when I pushed him? Keep in mind, he's older than me too. So like homie should theoretically just be able to put the beat down on me. But I'm saying like I'm not going to take it back if that's how it's got to be, then I guess it's that's how it's got to be. And he shoves me again, which I don't know if that's just the only like combat move he knew. So I push him back this time even harder than I did the first time and he kind of stumbled back a bit and he's like that's it I'm gonna fight you which I guess yay that's it he's gotta fight me I pushed him I don't know and he's maybe three feet away and he decides that the best way to punch me in this situation would be to sprint at me from three feet away which is just not enough time to really get speed and try to do like a jousting with his fist move I don't even know how to describe it other than he was kind of sprinting at me with his fist out just hoping that I didn't move. And even though he was only three feet away, he wasn't the fastest. So I just kind of like moved out of the way of his arm that was very obviously stretched out. No karate skills needed. All right. I'm not trying to say that I magically dodged a punch. I just stepped to the left. But as he runs past me, I'm like, oh, he's going to keep running. So I just decide to trip him, which I know is not like the nicest move in the world. And like, oh, that's not cool. Who cares? He tried to punch me in the face. I tripped him. It's all good. He cried last time I, I shoved him, all right? I didn't want to hit him. So I just stick my foot out and trip him with it. And he goes like swan dive mode. The original Black Ops, remember if you were sprinting and you went prone, your guy would just kind of go flying in the general direction of where you were aiming. That's kind of what he looks like. Like I stick my foot out and trip him. And just because of how he's running or whatever, he immediately just goes full dolphin dive and he smacks onto the ground and he slides a bit. And as he's sliding, I guess he hit his head on this like rescue heroes aircraft carrier toy thing that he had. It was like for action figures and it was plastic so I'm sure it didn't feel good but he grabs his head and he's like <gasps> you cracked my head open and listen there was literally no way on planet earth that him falling and sliding cracked his head open on this little thing like okay did falling hurt probably but it wasn't like he fell very hard it was just the forward momentum that kind of propelled him I'm sure it wasn't pleasant but now he's screaming that I cracked his head open as if I took a baseball bat there or something and now the parents are coming upstairs I hear them coming upstairs and I'm like well great this is gonna be awkward and sure enough the door opens and it's his mom my mom's not with her and she starts yelling what happened what happened and he yells that I tripped him and she turns around to me and listen I thought this kid was a little bit of an angry person who was bossy his mom starts laying into me who do you think you are when you're at my house to trip my son? I can't believe that I let you come over. You have no right to act this way in my house. She doesn't even know what happened yet. She's just kind of hoping her son is telling the truth. So I'm like, okay, well, uh, he was kind of hitting me. He tried to hit me. That's why I tripped him. And his mom is one of those moms where her baby can do nothing wrong. She's already yelling at me. She already thinks I shouldn't be at her house. But now I've tried to say that it's her son's fault for trying to hit me. Which, listen, in the scale of fighting, if someone tries to hit you and you trip them, I feel like that's de-escalating the situation. Punching someone in the face is always worse than tripping them, in my mind, unless it's like by a cliff. But whatever, she starts going off how there's no reason to ever trip her son in her house, and it doesn't matter if he tried to hit me. He was probably just playing a game, and I shouldn't have tripped him. Which, I mean, even if he was playing a game, I just don't want to play. Alright, let's play a game where you stay still and I run at you and punch you in the face. That's a really fun game. Like, no thank you, I don't want to play. So I just tell his mom, like, I don't really care, but I don't want to play with him anymore. And she's like, fine, then you won't play with him anymore, but you never lay a hand on my son again. And this, what I said back, was pretty smart aleck -y of me. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of being a smart aleck. But I didn't think I was being a smart aleck. She just said, never lay a hand on my son again. So I looked at her and said, I didn't hit him, I tripped him. And she, of course, is like, what did you say? And I'm like, what? You said, don't lay a hand on your son. I didn't lay a hand on him, I tripped him. 
And she's like, you, I'm going to go find your mom. You need to get out of my house. I can't believe this disrespect. And as I've said before on stories on this channel, I don't know what it is. Whenever, like, there's a serious situation, someone's yelling at me, I get bad news. Like, situations like that, I don't know why this happens, but I just start laughing. And that starts happening here, too. She's screaming at me, but, like, I'm laughing. Because, A, it finally registers in my brain why it was funny that I said I tripped him. Like, it's like, oh, uh, she said, don't put my hands on him. And I said, I'll just kick him next time. I get why she's mad. So I'm laughing at that. I'm laughing at her being mad. Mad. I'm laughing at this spoiled kid who's like freaking out standing behind his mom egging her on like yeah mom you yell at him it's just hilarious and she's like oh you think this is funny and I'm not trying to tell her that I think it's funny but I also don't want to lie and say I don't think it's funny so I'm just kind of like no no I don't want anyone to be hurt it's not funny the situation is just funny and she's like well what's funny about this situation and I'm a little kid I can't really explain it all I know is it's making me laugh and so I just go, can you just go find my mom so I can go home? And she's like, fine, but you're going to explain to her what you think is so funny. And I hear her stomp out. I hear people coming back up the stairs a little bit later. And my mom's with her now. And my mom's like, what happened? And I'm like, all right, we were playing a game. Da -da 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 -da. I give her the whole breakdown. And then I get to the part where I say, he shoved me and tried to hit me. So I tripped him. And his mom, who keep in mind, was not in the room for any of this. She didn't witness this. She didn't see anything is like, that's not what happened. I don't know how she knew. Maybe she had security cameras, a third eye or something. She used her telekinetic powers, but whatever the power she was referring to, she clearly was not very good at it because that was what happened. But she starts going off about how her son would never hit anyone, and that's not true. And listen, lady, it's not my fault you don't know what your son is capable of because he definitely did try to hit me in the face. And at that point, my mom's looking at me, and I think she could just tell that, like, I wasn't making this up. I don't know if it was a look in my face or just, like, a look look of what is going on, but I wouldn't make up him hitting me. There was no reason for me to do that. But my mom decides at this point the best course of action is to just leave. So she says something to his mom about how like, look, we're just gonna go. Clearly this has gotten out of control. I don't know what's going on, but it's not that big of a deal. So we'll just leave. And my mom like grabs my hand and starts walking me out of the room down the stairs. And we're about halfway down the stairs when I hear my mom's name getting yelled. And I look back up and it's the spoiled douchey kid's mom and he's next to her and they're both looking at us. And his mom starts yelling at my mom about how I'm the worst behaved child she's ever met. I am basically the embodiment of Satan. She should make sure that I get an exorcism because I'm just so insane. Keep in mind, her son had tried to punch me in the face, which if I am so insane that I need an exorcism would mean that your son is literally Satan. Like if we're gonna roll with your logic here, okay? I tripped him, he tried to hit me. If tripping makes me evil, then trying to punch someone in the face would basically be the equivalent of like, I don't know, is stomping on Bambi's mom's body. But at that comment, my mom starts going off. And listen, I'm not saying my mom didn't have my back. She just usually was the type of parent that was, like, more chill, I guess. Don't get it wrong. My mom would go crazy sometimes. I think every mom does that. But, like, I, I don't know. She wouldn't really go off on other people if they bugged her. She would just wait till we got in the car and be like, wow, that person was annoying. But with this lady yelling at me and her about me, she starts going off being like, your kid is the one that clearly tried to start a fight with my son. And you're lucky that my kid only tripped him because your kid's a little baby who was crying that he hit his head on some plastic all right so don't come at me and start telling me that my kid sucks when your kid is clearly the problem and your house is tacky and at that note we left which a hey man what a mic drop she said your kid sucks and your house is tacky goodness i think that was the more hurtful insult she's like yeah okay i knew my kid was garbage but my house is tacky that's too far either way we leave we get in the car and i start explaining to my mom i'm like look i didn't do anything i didn't start the fight like i really wasn't trying to start any issues he just tried to hit me so i tripped him and he was shoving me and my mom's like look normally in these circumstances i believe that you run your mouth or something but i saw the look on your face when that lady was yelling at you and i knew you did not 
start this fight. You were not trying to have an issue. Like, this was not on you. Thankfully, my mom believed me because, like, I was telling the truth. You know, I, I wasn't capping. I did not try to start the fight, but obviously I'm going to defend myself if someone's trying to punch me in the face. There's no school rules here, bucko. Not both of us are getting suspended if it's a private event. I mean, we did end up having to leave, but still. Overall, I would give the douchey rich kid about negative 87 out of 10. Not very fun to hang out with. Will force you to use bad nerf guns in a nerf fight. Give you knockoff warm soda and then fight you when you don't want to play anymore. What type of logic is that, man? Either way, though, guys, I think that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, I would appreciate y'all taking a second to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. We're back on the daily upload grind, and the best way to make sure the daily uploads continue is to like and comment. It just helps me know you guys want them. So uh, if you like the daily uploads, like, comment, all that stuff. And if you're new, subscribe and turn on those notifications because the daily uploads are back, ladies and gentlemen. If you like listening to the stories but you don't like the gameplay, you need to listen offline whatever floats your boat i do post the story times on spotify link to that can be found down below along with a link to a playlist i made here on youtube of my favorite story times of the year you guys can go ahead and check that out link in the description too and uh yeah on that note that'll do it don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot i'm out peace